Through the Doha Forum, which is a global platform, President Bumba and other policymakers are expected to build on innovative and action-driven networks. The main objective is thus to address multidimensional challenges with action-oriented recommendations. According to the presidency, the Namibian leader would use the opportunity to further consolidate the Namibia-Qatari ties across various areas of interest. Namibia and Qatar have established solid bilateral relations which have increased in terms of scope over the past four years, specifically in the areas of uh, oil and gas, in the areas of logistics, uh, in the areas of uh, tourism, as well as aviation. As we speak, uh, Namibia and Qatar has a number of uh, bilateral agreements that have been signed. Of course, the uh, SFSS agreement, which uh, saw the, the Qatar Airways coming to Namibia, and unfortunately, um, which was interrupted for, 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 for reasons beyond our control. However, discussions are ongoing to ensure that Qatar Airways resumes direct flights from Doha to Vento. I must also mention here that uh, Qatar is an important player in our in our logistics as one of the of the as one of the shareholders in one of the major shipping companies. Qatar is uh, working very closely with Namport to ensure that the port of Wolfish Bay and our ports more broadly become ports of choice for major shipping companies. So that means economic growth for Namibia. That means more employment opportunities for Namibians. I must also mention that in the, field, in, the, in the field of agriculture, Qatar has expressed an interest in Namibian meat, specifically lamb. So there are ongoing discussions between Namibia and the government of Qatar to ensure that very soon um, Namibian meat products are in Qatar. President Bumba is expected to return to Namibia on Monday. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.